As kids, we form cliques, we form groups, small groups. As adults, we still form cliques, but there is no difference. And it's also not a bad thing. Humans are inherently, naturally tribal. Essentially the pack mentality of most mammals. The cliques are a result of this. They are the modern tribe. They are the modern family unit. Family units, the original idea of family, the entire strength of our species came from the pack family. The entire family was one unit. That is what made makes most species capable of survival is the cooperation. This cooperation, however, has its limits. While we can learn to tolerate other people, we can learn to essentially get along with other people, we cannot trust everyone. It is just not possible. Even if we want to, it's not possible to trust everyone. Why? Because some people will hurt you. And sometimes, occasionally, we will trust the wrong person and they will not know any better and still hurt you. Or we will trust somebody and they will decide that they are angry with you and then hurt you using your trust against you. So we form these tribes, these cliques, to protect us from this. This is a natural instinct. This is our ability to survive showing up again continually. Even without the pressures of natural selection being fully upon us, we still have some traits that can benefit us as a society. These cliques and groups that we form also help us to find potential mates as well when, for those who wish to reproduce. And it also gives us people that we belong to. The, in, the introduction of the worldwide internet, the internet's existed a lot longer than people have known, but the introduction of the worldwide internet. So every time I say internet, I'm talking about the worldwide internet. If I say BBS, I'm talking about pre-internet internets. Um, the introduction of the internet allowed us to create even stronger cliques and groups because now we can pick and choose specifically people who share more in common with us than what we could find around us. Your geological location will limit the number of people that you can find and trust and actually trust. Not only just feel like you can trust, but actually trust with information or even meeting them in person. You can do this a lot better online than you can in geological location because your people tend to hide who they are, what they think, things like that. Certain traits that are considered taboo, certain ideas that are considered taboo, by the rest of society they will hold in on themselves when they are in real life. But online, thanks to the entire illusion, and it is truly an illusion, of anonymity, people believe that they can be open, and so they are open about who and what they are. This allows us to make better choices in who we include in our little cliques. Groups like this offer us comfort, trust, and dependability. These are very important, especially in friends. But there are some people who are resistant, even today, to this idea and concept of the cliques. They still think it's a bad idea. They still think the entire tribal thing is obsolete somehow. It's not. But the thing is, These people who are really against this are insecure. They're more worried about being liked. They're more worried about whether or not everybody will agree with them. They will oftentimes despise this dissension of any sort. If you disagree with them outright and just say, I disagree with you, this is how I see it, they will turn around and become angry with you. Or they will avoid dissension completely and try to be over diplomatic to create bridge some gap that is unnecessary simply because they are afraid of people not liking them so anytime somebody ever says that clicks are bad or they complain about these small groups that we exist in online and in real life even 
it makes me wonder just how insecure some people still are about who they are, what they are, and how they live. Because to truly want everybody to like you means that you don't like you. You find something wrong with you. So you have to try to hide it by getting everybody else to agree with you or like you and avoiding anybody who does not. Somebody dissents, dissents against me. Somebody does, disagrees with me completely. It doesn't bother me. Many of my subscribers have probably seen this or witnessed this. You can even troll my videos and I'm just going to have fun with it if I recognize it as trolling. If it's not trolling and just complete disagreement, I will debate it, post my counterpoints. It doesn't bother me. And I agree completely with clicks. I have a click. I have a rather large click, actually. And online, I love my click. I can trust them. They are my friends, and I know that they are going to be my friends. If I were to ever meet them in person, they're not going to hurt me. People who are not in my clique, I don't know if I can trust yet. I would give them a chance to prove it. I will give them a chance to prove it by being myself. And if they do not like me for who I am, then they will not be part of that clique, because then you cannot inherently trust that person. So be yourself. And if you're not in a clique, or you're not in the clique that you want to be in, don't sweat it. It's just the way things are. Learn to enjoy who you are. Learn to enjoy who your friends are. Because the people that are in your clique and everybody belongs to a clique of some sort. But anybody who is in a clique, they're your friends. And they will be your friends in your worst time. Everybody, comments and add more. Talk about who your clique is in the comments. Tell me why you like your clique. 